Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo group. In the Facebook group Affinity Designer and Photo group Michael Shiva has uploaded a, f uh, a file to the file section of that group called Clipping versus Masking, this PDF, you can download it from the group and you can also preview it, so I'll just click on preview and it's showing you in Affinity Designer the difference between clipping and masking layers the original placement of just moving one layer above the other or whether you clip them or whether you mask them now, as this is like a PDF mainly just for the group, I thought I'd make a, a video which sort of expands the audience of this um, page here to help explain the difference between clipping and masking. Now I must admit I didn't know uh, anything about the masking option so I've learned something new myself. But basically is where how you move the layers will have the different effect. Now what we're looking for when it comes to clipping is having this blue line between the layers that only comes over to the edge of the icons. I'm doing it on this page because it's far easier to see this than it is to see it actually in the program. And when it comes to masking what you want is that little blue line that runs down the edge of the icon. Hopefully you can see that better there. So this works just as well in Affinity Designer as this is made and also in Affinity Photo. So as this is done in Affinity Designer I'm going to do it in Affinity Photo. And you can see I've preset things up here. So this top layer two icons here I'm just going to swap around um, the positions of the layer. So let me just move this pink square over slightly so you can see the blue triangle is above the pink square. But if I move the pink square up the pink square is now above the blue triangle as it is displayed in the layers uh, display area here. So that is the top two layers so let me just put that, it's just a normal layer placement. So now we're going to have a look at clipping. So as you can see here you can move the layer up until that blue line just comes up to the icons like that there. So let me come back to here. Come back to the move tool. And I'm going to move the pink layer up by just clicking and dragging it. And and wait until that blue line just comes to the edge of the icon. Let me just move that over, which I should have done first. So that would look like that. And if I just move this one over as well. And then what I'll do is I'll drag this one down So we've got that one and that one. So that's the difference between the clipping the layers. Let me just move this over and this one. So now we're going to have a look at masking the layers rather than clipping them. So again, I'm going to I'm going to click on the icon and I'm going to drag it just so there's a, f a small blue line that comes down the edge of this blue triangle icon 
which is not that easy to see in the program which is why I'd, I'd sort of try to demonstrate it using the PDF image so I'll just click and drag this up just so you get that blue line and when you see that it automatically adds a layer mask which is why it is masking and not clipping and the last one here I'll drag this one down so using the same image or images I should say if you just place one layer above the other it will look like that or if you clip the layers you can get these sort of effects and if you mask the layers you can get that sort of effect hopefully that makes sense and I've learned something new myself but as I said it works in both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo so thank you for watching and thank you to Michael Shiva for the original document thank you for watching and goodbye